today I'm starting the video and we're gonna go inside to do something fun. Good morning guys, it is kinda hot outside. It's been chilly the last few days. Anyway, it poured rain in the night. I mean, poured rain. I am headed out to the garage because I'm actually gonna try and attempt to do something that usually Sam does. Whew, I just looked behind me. I thought I saw a ghost because there was nobody there five seconds ago and now there's, Ga whoops, there's Gabby. So I looked back and there she was. It's kind of scary. Anyway, so Gabby, do you know where the pump is in here? He's always saying to me, okay, go to the shed. Turn to the right and you'll find blah, blah, blah. And then you can hook it up. And I don't even know what I'm looking for, let alone how to hook it up. Luckily, Gabby, who's only 10, knows all that kind of stuff. She always saves the day. All right, I think this is it. I'm pretty sure this ouch, is what I need. Look at what I found. That's a sign, you guys. See those crate things there? That's what I was, Those are some of the crates that I was going to put in Gabby's room for the schleich. Hmm. Might have to get those out. So basically, the pool is on its last legs. It is green. Like, so green. Yeah, it's disgusting. We have not hardly used it. It's been cold at night. So, I am emptying this pool. It's done. It's done for. It's the middle, almost, it's the third week of August. Summer doesn't last that long here in Canada. And the nights get cold, even if the days get really hot still. Uh, the nights are so cold that the pool just doesn't maintain any heat. Yeah, it's coming out white. So anyway, Sam said, go get my pump and do, ah! And do this and this and this, and I did it. I followed the directions and I just plugged the thing in. I want to play it. Put the pump in the water. It's attached to this hose already. And yeah, it's all coming out. The water's all coming out. 16 hours later from now, I'm sure the pool will be empty. And that's what we're doing. We're taking down the pool today. Honestly, I thought we would do it Sam and Nia style and get a big, huge knife and just cut it open. And yeah, but Sam said no. He dashed all my plans for a fun day, didn't guys. he? Okay, guys, stand back. Woo! Cool, but it gets you all wet. Yeah, plus that water is green. It is gross. It's not green. It is black Wait, green. Wait, I want to do something. Don't drink it. And look at your face. Watch, watch, water. <gasps> Why did you do that? It's fun. Oh my gosh, you guys, tell them what happened, Gabs. <coughs> I was eating um my uh, cereal. I didn't eat it for like a couple of minutes. And then when I looked down to pick up the spoon and eat it, it's a spider. Yeah, she found this. She looked down to eat it and that was oh. in her cereal. It's still alive. If any of you guys are insect activists, look away because this, this guy is not gonna live. But yeah, imagine take, about to take a bite and there's a spider on your bowl, in your bowl. Today is the day. What day is it, So, Day to put Abby down. Yeah, today is our last day to say goodbye to Abby. Right, and what other day is it? Horseback riding? Nope, not horseback riding. Today's eviction day for Bailey Bird. So basically, today's the day we start our soft release for Bailey. I'm gonna explain that to you in just a second. So here he is, outside in his new home. Oh, he's outside? Yeah, he's outside. Woo! So we gotta have to come out here to feed him. Yeah, come Woo! out here to feed him. He are you gonna it. are you gonna miss him? I don't know. I'm gonna miss him running around the hill. <coughs> well I now mean, you can talk to all the crows out here. Yes! Um, what if all like every crow in this neighborhood just went on the swing and we're talking to him? Yeah, that would be cool. So basically what's happening is a soft release. So this is what I know. Baby crows in the wild um, usually learn to uh, find food for, for themselves and learn to become independent in the fall. So it's almost fall. Birds that are kept um, 
in a rescue, um, the earlier in the season, the fall season that they get set free, the better the chance they have. So for some, for you guys that don't know, really hard for a bird to find a new family, a crow to find a new family. Luckily we have a family of crows living in our neighborhood. They're always here visiting in our yard and it's not impossible. Bailey could become a member of their family. He works really hard and he is super submissive for a bird so I'm pretty sure he could do it. You think he'll find a new family? Yeah. Yeah, so do but I. But hopefully he doesn't go away in the winter. Well, he push should go away in the winter, and you hopefully know. Hopefully, he comes back to our house. Yeah, that can and then, happen. And like, goes in our house. If yeah. We let him, then he yeah. can live in there for the winter. Yeah. Well, so basically, I love him, and he's wonderful, but he has to go be a bird. I don't want to keep a wild bird. So. For any of you guys who are new subscribers, what happened was that we got called and asked to rescue this baby bird. We rescued so many different animals. We never planned to rescue a bird. I never wanted to rescue a bird. Did you think we would ever rescue a bird? No, neither did I. But what do you say when somebody says, hey, can you take this bird? You say, of course I can take this bird. So we learned a lot rescuing him. It was not an ideal situation. And at first he was crazy. At first he was crazy. And if we had known if we were going to be rescuing a bird, we would have had a much better setup than that crate. And in fact, somebody. Yeah, they're working over there. And in fact, um, if I can get some free time, I'm going to see if Sam will build a better enclosure so that he can move it down in the grass. So basically, what a soft release is, is that he'll come outside now and he'll live outside for the next couple of, maybe the next week. And he'll get used to all the sounds and he'll listen to the birds and he'll learn to talk like birds, right? But we didn't teach him how to say hi. No. I know. Well, because it's, it's not good to teach them too many things. So... At night, I will close him off. In fact, in the daytime, I'll even close off his crate, his cage. I'll put a big blanket over the back of it and the side so he doesn't feel afraid. Because when you're, when he's locked in there and he, something comes around and he can't get away, he'll be scared. So if I close it off and make it really cozy so it's like his den and he can hide, then it will eliminate that problem. Right? Got it? Get it? Get it? You understand me? Oh, we got a bunny. My bunny. I love that bunny. My bunny, then again, goes on a harness. So uh, that's what's happening. It's early in the season. I want him to have the best chance. Eventually, we uh, will open the door and let him come and go as he pleases. Yeah, that's you we're talking about. But for now, we're just gonna let him get used to the environment. All right, you guys, we are here at our local vet. And we got our girl with us and she's looking kind of good. This is the first time she's been sitting up for this whole entire day. Sophie's been super sad, huh? No, only one part of me. This eye's been sad, this eye's been happy. Yeah, she said she has a sad eye. Which one's your sad eye? This one. Yeah, that's her sad eye. But I have a feeling that it's gonna get only a little sadder. Right? All right, you guys, we are here at the vet and we are just getting ready to say goodbye and it is super sad. And the weirdest thing though, like she has not eaten a single thing in days. She's so skinny, you guys. And like, Sylvie gave her a cookie when we got here and she ate it and said, I've been pushing okay, away everybody I love. I don't know what to do. Need a sign from above. I just want to be somebody who knows Who knows how to behave But I'm not even close Won't you save, 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 save me Won't you save, 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 save me I am out here alone Cause there's nobody left I need someone to talk to Get this pain on my chest All the bad things I've done And the people I've hurt Wanna take that part of me And leave it in 
We are home from the vets and I stopped shooting because the vet came in and then after that it was not just not a good thing. It was a really sad time and lonely being home without our girl. Do you feel lonely without her? Kind of, yeah. Do you feel lonely without her, Sophie? Kind of. Yeah, I feel lonely without me. Yeah, they're like, I am never gonna go there and take my dog there. I miss that. But honestly, I have to tell you that I'm never the, putting my dog down. You're never putting your dog down. Never. I'm never putting my dog down either. They'll say like, okay, how much does he weigh? One pound. Okay, that'll cost you like fifty bucks. <laughs> it'll cost you five bucks. Yeah, it costs money to put her down and it went by weight. And Gabby's just saying if I ever had to put Toby down, it would cost me like five bucks, right? Anyway, it was a super sad thing, super sad thing having to do that. But the minute she stopped breathing, it was such a struggle for her to breathe for so long that as soon as she stopped struggling, I literally felt this sense of peace come over me because I just felt like at least she was resting finally. Rest in peace, Abby. Um, thank you so much to all of you guys who reached out to us on Instagram and um, shared your support through this terrible time. And so many of you guys shared with us that you've lost dogs so recently, even just this month. And I just want to say I know what you're going through as well. And I'm so sorry that this even has to be a thing. But, I mean, obviously it chemo. is. Yeah, we put down our old dog, huh? Chemo, dad's old dog, chemo. Yeah. It was a girl. Yeah. Yeah. We are going to end today's video. We are trying to get our house situated, getting ready for back to school. I'm excited to show you all the changes that we're going to be making. Are you excited to go back to school? No. Who's excited to go back we're to not school? I'm going back to school. I know, but are you excited to go back to homeschool? Is it better I than. I feel like running away from different things, like from all school, like homeschool or. I know, wouldn't it be amazing if life was free and you could just do whatever you wanted all the time? And you knew everything already. Yeah, and you like were born baby, knowing like, everything. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then you never have to do school. No, well, we're going to switch. You learned it when you were a baby and you were yeah. like a math genius when you were a baby. Yeah, that would be awesome. But I'm going to switch it up this year and it's not going to be as bad. It's not going to be a lot of book work. You're going to like it better this year, I think. Okay, let me just say the vlog now. Okay. Uh, like and subscribe this video and see you click guys. the icon above right here uh, to see more videos or a mystery video. So bye. Be quiet, Bailey. So bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.